everybody. Hey, Get ready to enjoy it five times more. <laughs> I am I'm ready to do my act. This is an act that needs no introduction. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that on, on talk shows a lot, they'll bring in someone, they'll say, oh, Jennifer Lopez, my next guest needs no introduction, but let me tell you everything about her life. <laughs> Every intimate detail. Just like Ikea furniture. It's so easy to put together. You need no instructions. But just in case, here's a nice instruction packet, packet in ten different languages. One time. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Danny Castling, and I'm here to say funny words to you. Uh, my act is called Please Laugh, dot, 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 and please feel free to do so. <laughs> I won't judge you. If you laugh, if you have an ugly laugh, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here. <laughs> you guys know, there is just one really complex problem that I, it keeps me up at night. I'm always thinking about it every single second of every single day. It's on my mind. It's just... I stay up at night, I wake up early and sweats. I'm just wondering, where did all the anvils go? <laughs> Do you know? No, no one knows, no one knows. And just one day, we, were, we had a surplus of anvils. Wiley and Coyote was throwing them off bridges, throwing them off rocks, trying to get that little road runner. And now they're all gone. <laughs> did one coyote use up every single anvil in the world? <laughs> did Acme go out of business when the wily coyote went off the air? Did he ever catch that roadrunner? It's just, it's one of life's great mysteries that we will literally never know the answer to. <laughs> That's sad, I know. So, um, I've been reading the news a lot lately, as, as you should be informed, read the news. Or not, I'm not your judge. <laughs> but, if you have noticed, uh, in a lot of places, crime rates have steadily been going down. Wonderful! Like, what a beautiful society we live in. And it just, it just makes me think, is the crime rate going down, or are we just getting better at murdering people? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question. I mean, what shows like Law & Order, CSI, Bones, it teaches you everything not to do. <laughs> I know. That if I kill someone with a shovel, I can't just wipe it off. They're still gonna know. They're gonna know there's blood there. They're gonna know. I know that now. I know every mistake. Like on Bones. There's one episode on Bones where a guy dies because of a potassium overdose. You can't trace that. There's no test that can trace that. It, it just looks like, oh, one day he ate a banana and whoops, died. <laughs> like look to your left. That person's probably a murderer. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they are a serial killer. <laughs> but you know, kudos to you, serial killers out there, because you're doing a great job, you know? You're really, you're really honing your skills. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> oh, it's a good time. Let me check what my wrist says as to what my next topic is. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I know, I'm so professional. You guys thought you were going to see some little girls who stand up and... It's the next, the next Louis C.K. in front of you. What a surprise. <laughs> Have you guys ever noticed how you can play God with plants? Like, you, you are God to that plant. Like, you decide. You decide if it lives or dies. You decide. You make it rain. You make it earthquake. You know, it's like cats. Cats and dogs, they have some semblance of an idea that there's an outside world. That they have hopes and dreams and ambitions. This plant. Its entire life is in your hands. <laughs> Even more reason to worry that the person to your left is a serial killer. <laughs> they are torturing their plants. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do you guys know what the saddest thing in the world is? No suggestions? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> the saddest thing in the world is one person on a teeter-totter. <laughs> Do you know what's even sadder? What? Three people on a teeter-totter. <laughs> so sad, so tragic. A teeter-totter is the devil's, the, really the devil's plaything. <laughs> the teeter-totter is the only childhood whimsical object where you must have one friend. <laughs> if you have no friends, then you're out of luck. That's too bad. No teeter-totters for you. If you have more than one friend, if you're crazy popular, everyone loves you, 
your life is still empty. Because you can <laughs> never go on a teeter totter with my friends. <laughs> it's very sad. You know what? I, I've come up with a solution to this problem. And I think, I think really this should be on the next, the next big platform for the next presidential debates when uh, elections happen and what have you. I think they need to outlaw teeter totters. They really do. They're just bringing us all down. And then you know what we need to do to fix this economy, to bring this nation back? We need to replace the teeter-totters, I can't speak today. We need to replace the teeter-totters with anvils. <laughs> I fixed America. You're welcome. Thank you guys. That's my